going to be about intranquil and purgatorial dead. So when someone dies suddenly, they risk the chances of being an earthbound spirit. So whether or not that's a car accident, suicide, an overdose, um, any sudden death is you're not really adjusting to the fact that that you are dead and that you don't have a physical body anymore. In the process of a natural death and dying, our body dies slowly and we slowly detach and give up um, being attached to the earth and our physical body. And so people that die suddenly don't have that transition transitioning time. That's the thought behind of it. And um, you need to read the Book of Mediums first. And Book of Spirits is okay, but it explains all these theories and things about our energy bodies and uh, spirits and levels of spirits. And so it doesn't really matter if you're drunk and you got in a car accident or if you're happy or upset when you got in a car accident or completely clear-headed before you took your own life. If you die suddenly, then there, the chances that you are confused after um, are a lot higher and earthbound. And uh, if you're in a lower level spirit, then also the chances are that you're not going to be as intelligent or as de independently functional. Uh, you're going to need an incarnated human to activate and instruct you and develop you in, in what they, that, this, that spirit can do. So lower level spirits are going to be less moral spirits they're going to be less intelligent and they're going to be more desperate and more hungry spirits. So people that work with these spirits are going to have to work to feed them all the time to maintain them, to maintain their energy level so that they do not dissipate. Um, their soul may be attached more or they could, their soul could have reincarnated right away, but this shell, this personality shell of their energy body is what is worked with and what is remaining. So when you work with um, them, then they're going to continually want to get energy. And if you don't feed them, then they're going to start sapping off your life force. Especially if you give them blood, they're, it's like crack to them. So they're going to start feeding off your family members, people that you live with, and your pets. And your, you're continually be feeding off your, your energy. Also, um, don't be buying graveyard dirt online because it's traditional to get to know the spirit, to get to know the grave and work with it that way. And you, you don't really know how the person got the dirt. You don't really know um, where the dirt came from, even though they can say that where they got it, got it from. So this is work better suited to yourself and uh, or getting to know your guardian that holds the gate of the graveyard and just taking it from there that way and doing it um, safely. So in Tranquil Spirits, if you work with purgatorial spirits, they are suffering spirits. They could be angry, they could be confused, upset, and they're going to cause confusion and upset. So if you work with them with a love spell, then they're going, they're tormented, they're going to go torment that other person to return them to you, but they're not going to make the other person nice to you and they're not going to make the other person love you. And the other person might be confused and upset to why it's continually being drugged back into the situation that is going against its will that it wants to leave. So it's going to maybe even take the frustration or violence and anger out on you, um, the person who wants that person returned or the person working that spirit. The spirit can then also just turn on them as well. And so these spirits are looking for uh, cooling and the balm of healing and for light. They're, they don't want to be someone's attack dog, but they're so desperate that they will accept anything. And, they, and like a crackhead, they will promise anything. So you are making a deal with a crackhead um, to do what you think that they're going to do, which doesn't make that much sense. And also you, when you do a tranquil spirit or purgatorial work, um, if you're just calling them up through prayer and you're not using a specific grave, it's kind of like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get. So someone tried to say that Anima Sola was in Tranquil Spirit Light, like Diet Pepsi or something. And that's absolutely not true. It just means a lonely or wandering soul. 
Um, so you don't know which one you're going to call up. One could be more malevolent or less malevolent. So it's best to just leave these spirits alone, especially if you're not well protected, you're not a spiritualist. That's not a good place to start when working with the dead. Uh, you need to have a good foundation. That's not a good place to start anyways. But then you see these bad message boards, etc., cetera, um, telling, and these see these products, and people think it's something good to go get. Now, we can be born with these spirits in our spiritual court, and they can be um, healed, appeased, and elevated, and then they can be very useful or necessary spirits for you, but that's a different story. And um, they can cause a lot of problems in your life, or they can just be a spirit that needs a little, a little bit of uh, help. Um, but they also tend to be a little bit less malevolent so far in, in my experience. So when you call up a purgatorial dead, you don't know if they're going to be a serial murderer or a pedophile or a rapist, and this is the problem. And so in uh, God's whole scheme of things, eventually we will reincarnate enough and learn lessons enough and we will suffer enough eventually all of us will eventually elevate out of these circumstances and uh, eventually um, get out of it. So nothing is forever for these spirits. Um, so that's just my that's just my opinion on it. Um, higher spirits are going to be more intelligent. They're going to be uh, more helpful spiritually. And uh, someone said uh, that they they use a suicide victim to cause someone not to commit suicide, but that's not a very good opinion uh, idea in my opinion. And they they were of the opinion that caused caused the person who's depressed caused them guilt and caused them shame and remind them of the family burden and regret, so that they won't do it. But my thinking is that that is a lot, that's a place where a lot of people are ashamed, full of shame or regret or feelings of worthlessness is why a lot of people do commit, try to commit suicide. So that's not a very good idea. And plus taking their sapping off their energy, etc., and having a low level spirit around someone isn't a very good idea to someone who has a very low, low mood and is very susceptible to these spirits. Um, suggestions so that's just my opinion on it and um, if you have any more questions about the subject then let me know